What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome back for some more Fire Emblem Heroes and this is going to be my comprehensive analysis and review of Bertram, our latest Rancher Battle Unit. I'll be going over a lot of the builds that you can run on him and at the end I'll have a special bonus segment of what if he had a preferred weapon because he really really needs that section. So if you do enjoy these free to play unit reviews I would really appreciate if you could leave a like and subscribe and with that said let us begin. Bertram is a Gen 6 Sword Cavalier with no preferred weapon. He actually did deserve one because Petrine and Black Knight have their own but he comes with Instant Sword Plus which is basically a mini sturdy impact weapon. So this weapon only functions in the player phase and a unit like Bertram at higher investment definitely wants to invest into his enemy phase. So this is a decent and unique weapon but in the long run you probably want to replace this with a better weapon. He also has Rouse Attack Defense at 4 star which is definitely good and can be useful for Inheritance because Orson did have this skill at 5 star so at least this is available at lower rarity and then he has got Dull Close at 5 star. His stat allocation is pretty much what we have seen many times with high attack, high defense but not that much speed or resistance. He actually does have a super boon in his resistance and this could be helpful if at max investment you want to run some kind of distant counter build on him. So overall with this kind of stat spread he can function as a melee specialist cavalier because he can definitely have a lot of physical bulk if you invest into him but having no preferred weapon and this kind of stat line makes him a rather unimpressive unit and he doesn't really stand out compared to many sword cavaliers even in the free to play pool uh, with the likes of Kemp, Ares and Blazing Durandal Elliewood. Even though Regan is a premium cavalier we at least get one free copy of her from book 5 and she's just honestly so strong compared to something like Bertram who needs a lot of premium skills and a lot of investment and the problem is that even if you want to invest into him a lot of the good inheritable swords like Unbound Sword Plus, Pled Sword are all locked behind rare 5 star units so it's kind of hard to get them. Maybe if in future we get Unbound Sword Plus in the normal pool it will be a bit easier for him but until then Steadfast Sword is pretty much his main option and there are also fewer swords that we can have access to compared to Lances and Axes. There is no sword version of Candy Cane Plus or Plagian version of a sword. So those kinds of weapons would have been pretty nice for Bertram but unfortunately we simply do not have them. And finally competitively speaking he doesn't really bring anything new to the table because in Aether Raid's offense you can use Regan, Blazing Durandal, Elliewood and just so many other sword cavaliers and on defense stuff like Legendary Sigurd is very very powerful. Some people are definitely going to be investing into him because of his top tier art and his voice acting but I know many people are simply not going to be investing into him because he doesn't really uh, appeal to majority of the players at this point in the game and especially many people are really disappointed because he doesn't have a preferred weapon. But still if you want to build him up then on a budget you can go with Instant Sword Plus with a defense refine and something like this could be used in Arena Assault where he can at least deny the follow up attacks of the enemies with Instant Sword and just hit pretty hard for a budget sword cavalier. And if you want to invest into his enemy phase on a budget then Steadfast Sword from Tanith or Carrot Cudgel rather is also an option and you can run Sturdy Stance 2 and Slotty and have Cooker Post Sacred Seal. He definitely needs to have Cooker Post Sacred Seal because his speed is not really enough to naturally double and at max investment and high investment he loves having a tier 3 stand skill because of the guard skill built into it. A unit like Bertram really appreciates the guard effect like so many other slow tanks. Lull attack defense can work if he's not running Unbound Sword Plus and then Cooker Post is pretty much a compulsory option on him if you want to function as a tank with him. You can also invest into him with Unbound Blade Plus and this is going to be available on Anand who is a 5 star locked unit but I hope at some point we can get this in the normal pool because we have already got Unbound Lance and Unbound Axe so hopefully this happens sooner than later and if you want to build him up with that sword then you can run solo skills to synergize well with it because as it is the weapon requires a solo condition and you don't really have to run a lull skill with this weapon and simply have another sacred seal to boost up your stats. You can also run him with Pledge Blade Plus and this is definitely a pretty rare weapon from uh, Bradle Oboro. Now this weapon is really cool because Cavaliers do not have access to special acceleration like Steady Breath. So he can pretty much use Ignis with this kind of weapon and retaliate back with Ignis in a single round of combat. And then he can have Sturdy Stance 3 to provide him with the guard effect and Mystic Boost as a Sacred Seal can provide him with some healing if you want him to be self sufficient. And finally at max investment if you want him to have some kind of distant counter then you can certainly make use of his resistance super boon by ascending that and you can run distance stance which can further give him even more resistance. 
options. Unfortunately, the problem with this kind of build is that he doesn't have the guard effect, so he's kind of susceptible to the specials, um, even though he can get bulky on his mixed bulk. For his competitive usage, I think he doesn't really fit well in Aetherate's defense. You're much better off using Blazing Dorindal Eliwood or Legendary Seagard if you have him. Bertram is not going to be doing anything too good because he doesn't have a player face exactly. So that's why I think he is used best in Aetherate's offense if you really, really want to use him in Aetherate's in some kind of capacity. And there you can just use him as a melee specialist with a weapon and a build like this. So Carrot Cudgel is really amazing for Aetherate's offense, nullifying the attack and defense penalties. And uh, that is going to be helpful because Mirabilis and Note do have these skills which can debuff your attack. And Sturdy Stance with Lull Attack Defense is going to be even helpful because oftentimes people have Duo Peonies on their defense team or some kind of visible buff either with a Menace skill or Legendary Seagard. So nullifying their attack buff is going to be extremely helpful along with the guard effect that the stand skill provides. And you pretty much run this kind of Bertram with a far save tank so that they can focus on taking on the range opponents where Bertram can just focus on the melee matchups. So he can certainly function with this kind of build at high investment. And finally, if you want to use him in Arena, then you can use him with Unbound Blade Plus, which provides you with the solo lull attack defense, which is going to be extremely helpful in Arena where visible buffs are really common. And this allows you to free up your slot B skill to run a near trace skill. So having the mobility in Arena is extremely helpful and usually you're not going to be having access to the positional assist skills. So that's why near trace can be a really helpful thing. In the enemy phase, this is also going to be providing him with even more debuffs. So that can be extremely helpful. And you have to run a 300 space lossy skill because he doesn't have a preferred weapon. So you need that to get the max scoring on him. Now, whenever I suggest a unit to run a dual skill and they can already reach 175 BST, I always give the disclaimer, only invest with this kind of dual skill if you're, you know, caring about reaching the max score with your team. Just check the arena calculator in the description to see if your team even benefits from this kind of dual cavalry skill on Bertram. Because many times it is not going to be changing our overall team score. So it's really important to keep that in mind instead of just blindly investing into him with a dual skill. His builds are pretty straightforward where he wants to function in the enemy phase and he loves having the guard effect in general from the stand skill and because he doesn't have very high speed, he likes to have Cooker Post as a slot B skill or his secret seal. Honestly, it was a really big surprise for me that Bertram did not have a preferred weapon when Petrine and Black Knight had them and I guess if Bryce is ever going to be released in Fae, he's probably not going to have Wishblade then if we follow this kind of pattern because Bertram definitely deserved Rune Sword. And this is my theory craft of if Bertram had Rune Sword. So it would have been pretty easy to make this kind of weapon and he would have been a lot more unique and interesting. So similar to Petrine, I would definitely want Rune Sword to calculate damage based on foe's resistance. And then this is of course going to be having the self feeling similar to the Rune Axe which Narsin has got. So he can get 7 HP per hit. And then similar to Petrine's weapon, if the unit's HP is above half health, then he can inflict attack and resistance minus 5 debuff on the opponent. And I would also let him have the guard effect because like I said, a unit like him definitely likes to have the guard effect. So I think that would be extremely useful for him. And the threshold condition is a lot better for him because he has the self healing. So you don't really have to run a tier 3 stand skill or mystic boost if he had this kind of rune sword. And I would definitely give attack defense solo on a slot A instead of dull close because it's about time that we got the solo skills on these kinds of Grail units. So I would definitely like to have it and I would just uh, allocate the stats a bit differently so that he doesn't have that much speed. You can reduce the speed and give that to his resistance and with this kind of weapon he can definitely function as a pretty nice mixed tank with that constant healing and the debuffs. So let me know in the comments if you like this Bertram Theorycraft or not. So if you like this video, then make sure to share this video with your friends who are thinking of building Bertram. And if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to leave a like and a comment, helps me tremendously. And if you really, really enjoyed, you could always support me directly by using Super Thanks or by becoming a YouTube member. And for more Fae Analysis videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because expecting YouTube sub boxes to work is like expecting preferred weapon on Grand Trio Battle units these days. So that's it, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.